Okay, I'm going to show you how to paint this, uh, this uh, butt, or the rear fender I call it, and then the front rails. You want to paint these the same color. Now there's a couple of things that we want to pay real close attention to. Uh, number one is on, on any of this stuff, whatever you do, don't use any lacquer thinner. No. This is for people that don't uh, speak English. And then uh, whatever you do, don't use acetone. No. Whenever you work with this, this is a thermoplastic and it, it will actually, uh, these harsh chemicals will attack it. So whenever you sand this and work on it, uh, when you clean it up, use something mild, soap and water, um, tack rag, wig, whatever. So just avoid those real harsh chemicals. You'll notice that we uh, furnish these in a gloss black powder coat. Now the reason we do this is because there might be a good chance that you're going to do the butt in the black. So that uh, saves you having to paint these. One thing I found too, uh, I rattle canned one of the uh, bikes that we did and the black uh, that I used from the rattle can was a little more of a brown black than it was uh, the true black that the powder is. So you may want to kind of shop around and find a, a good black that is actually black black like this. Now, if you plan to paint these, what I would do is just take like a, a scotch Brite pad or something and rub them. Just, just dull the surface a little bit and they're ready to paint. This stuff really acts as a good primer. You can use real fine sandpaper too. Now, if you plan on painting this yourself, uh, first of all, make sure that your hands are really clean when you uh, handle this stuff, especially after you sand it, because you don't want the oil from your hands uh, going into this primer. So keep your hands really clean. And then uh, remember whenever you paint something, uh, what you want to do is you want to fog on several coats at first. The reason painters do that is um, they put on coats of paint and they don't even have to cover that well, but what happens is you let those tack up or just come a little tacky surface and then you uh, spray another coat and they do several coats and what that does is the tack coats hold the paint so when you finally do your finished coats, those uh, tacked up coats underneath will actually hold the paint and keep them from running and get runs in them. So that way, you know, when you, when you do the final coat, you can lay it on pretty heavy. And then uh, one thing too, if you do get a run or something in it, make sure you uh, let it dry really good for at least two or three days or something before you send that run out because if you send it too soon, it'll, uh, it'll leave a mark in your paint. There again, the best way to go would be to take this over and let a body shop or a painter do it because those guys know what they're doing. So anyway, uh, hope that works out really well for you and uh, be sure and send us a picture. We want to see that bike.